Mellows facility here. I've been in this institute for the past uh, 14 years. I came here as a consultant, then I became attached with the department. We're doing a lot of uh, animal related research in this department. That's about my contribution to this institute. And I do take care of uh, animals which is uh, connected to this campus and also the administrators and management. Do they do have a different level of form and they do have a different level of uh, pet animals in their uh, business place and their uh, guest house and beach house. So that's about myself. Regarding the things which I have learned here, it's quite a lot and it uh, regenerated my learning skill and you know it was really useful to me. Uh, I can I can bring down to three points probably as you as the organizer expecting three points so probably I limit with three points. The foremost thing is uh, something to do with my mind or with myself or probably what I am uh, kind of a self analysis that is the one part I was lacking so directly or indirectly this is very helpful uh, in my day. It's going to be very helpful in my day-to-day -day practice. Uh, probably if you all remember in our school days, I'm very sure we all are, could have been toppers in our school. That's why we are doctors and engineers and technocraft sitting here. I was doing in my school days, but when the age passed, you know, the, the, the practice has gone because of the busy or because of preoccupied mindset, I have lost the practice. So now the teaching really helped me to analyze, self-analyze, like how we had a, a demo yesterday and today. I'm start, you know, thinking, I'm start observing what I'm going, what I'm doing, you know, uh, absorbing myself and giving additional concentration to my body. And equally, that's going to help me uh, to take care of uh, better health. That's one thing about, you know, absorbing my body. Uh, Self-analysis, that's regarding myself. And second thing, how this uh, harmony is going to help in my profession and also the, uh, you know, uh, the people who I'm dealing. Uh, that is one area which I have learned from this uh, resource people and from this uh, gathering. It's, uh, you know, how I'm kind to going to connect with the people, understanding the people's need, uh, understanding the people's emotion. Uh, are we having a right feeling or right understanding about the issue. If I start do that, probably I'll be uh, a better person. I'll be able to handle the situation in a better way, rather quarrel with them, rather misunderstanding between staffs, misunderstanding between colleagues. So I can be a better perspective, you know, that gives a better perspective to have a better relationship with uh, colleagues, friends, uh, and family mainly, and also with uh, uh, in my business. I have a business, uh, it's uh, mainly we are dealing with uh, uh, animal treatment and I do have other business but the main uh, thing is uh, the treatment part, treatment and surgery. So we have a lot of uh, uh, employee over there, most of them are women employee. I had a, I still I have a very great challenge to manage more than 15 women employee in my uh, workplace. I don't know how SR I'm managing. <laughs> So the thing is, uh, it's not uh, anything uh, uh, big, low about women. It's women, they have uh, high skills. Uh, they have a soft corner. All the extremes, they are ready to travel. So sometimes, you know, one among them or few of them are not really connected. I as a man, I couldn't able to understand. I jump to my own conclusion and take a decision. I simply, you know, scold them. I simply warn them. Rather, probably I can uh, be a better person to understand, right understanding about what they are feeling, what they are you know, undergoing. So that helps me a very good uh, perspective. And, and equally, the same thing, understanding, uh, which helps uh, to put back in my uh, uh, earlier uh, days, uh, like uh, how we are taking care of our uh, body uh, after connecting with ourselves. Like being a Christian in our church, uh, you know, then uh, we do have a system of education, especially for children. When we are uh, growing up, school children uh, in our church, we go to Sunday school. They they call us a Sunday school. Every Sunday we worship in church, but uh, behind church there will be a separate room for children. All children go there. It's called a children's church. There we learn uh, we learn a lot of good thing. Uh, I'm not sure how about the non-Christians or other uh, religious people 
children they have a uh, have that system of education even though i have come across all the system of education when i grew up in my college days in my professional curriculum or soon after completing the professional curriculum there is nobody to guide no that's where the major decision need to be taken whatever i learned in my school days i was good you know in my family you know they, they, i'm i'm i have been grown up in a better way but when i come to the society there is no proper system of education because once you grow up you know that uh, in 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 church we don't have a we won't attend the children's church we attend the main church where the senior people are there you are missed out so there the uh, 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 system of education uh, really helps a lot so probably will uh, i myself even though being a grown up person i'm going to, i have made a decision and i'm going to be put for myself properly attending the church properly worshiping in church to give a proper you know uh, respect to the religious things also uh, because everybody blessed with their own, own religious values and yesterday uh, we were trying to do some kind of a yoga practice i'm very sure every religious you know they one or other way they are trying to you know uh, do that then we worship god we kneel down you know uh, that's how we worship god right so we do we do certain things but uh, we are not scientifically get connected this gives a, pr- a very good perspective even though if it is a religion how it is getting connected with our day to day life and being a scientist being a learned and people how we need to really connected with that and how to inculcate that to the next generation so that's the that's second thing which i learned the third thing uh, the influence or the harmony in the environment or the coexistence with the environment that uh, being a veterinarian it's very easy for me but still uh, the information which uh, arrived out of this forum that's made me a uh, very great uh, opportunity to inform or to guide other people also in that same way um, like it is not so easy to live with and uh, it's not uh, comfortable sometimes to be in the environment or to bring the environment inside our house you know it has a lot of difficulty uh, but how to manage you know how to uh, adapt the nature inside our house or the nature how how we can get adapted to the nature those things uh, uh, gives a better perspective uh, this is practically directly it is applicable to my my situation uh, because uh, i have been blessed with uh, family and uh, na- um, terrace garden and pet animals uh, you know variety of clients uh, people who have uh, farm animals you know different uh, i'm 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 prone to connect with the nature very oftenly but sometimes i ignore so even though if i have the chance i'm doing that so i have made my mindset very clearly wherever i am missing so that should not be so these are three things which i have learned uh, from this uh, uh, five days workshop and the last one is uh, how this is going to be how you know is there is any need to include this content in the educational forum i strongly say yes because this has to be uh, taught in a uh, uh, mind of young people so that they can rightly cultivate the habit and rightly they can take away the message to home for example um, if i could have been trained in a little earlier or 5 uh, 10 years before probably i could have not faced some of the complication in my profession or in a family or in my um, uh, business so that's in that perspective i am seeing so i would say uh, this uh, because we don't have formal um education system who concentrate or the uh, things about health or the wealth by the way it may be um, so the formal education or the curriculum can be included in a university or in a college or in a diplomat program so that people can be equipped in a better way because we are diversified with so many activities so many uh, environment factor disturbs us you know makes a lot of challenges Uh, you know we are prone to make a, a decision based on the environment i would say 80% of the decisions we are uh, arrived from the influence of environment so if we are good enough smart enough to accept the environment and to control the environment as per the uh, self as per our uh, inner being probably we can able to make it a better holistic lifestyle for a long run thank you so much for the opportunity thank you so much alvin sir but i so i just uh, written uh, whatever it is need to be implemented Im- uh, immediately that i have written in uh, red colors 
red colors, uh, which has to be uh, uh, the message I have written in the top. And here there is the line. That line is a gray area. Whatever I write below the line, it's a gray area. And near the gray area, I used to give us uh, symbols. The symbol is my question. And those questions I have discussed among with you all. That's how the note has been classified. And this is my school practice. I'm still continuing. Like that, I have missed a lot of healthy practice, uh, which I learned, but I missed in my, you know, uh, young age and my uh, this 30s and 40s, which this workshop made me to uh, remind all that. I would like to do that. Thank you. Thank you so much for observing this. Sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much, Alvin, sir. And uh, to just mark uh, uh, additionally, uh, Alvin, sir, first day managed sitting down and writing his notes, but he was not in a comfortable position. The very next day, he said, no, my observer's table, give this table to me. <laughs> I want to sit comfortably and write the table. I said, ah, I put everything in a chair and said, yes, it is for you. And uh, very comfortably, he started writing. And uh, the gray area which sir pointed out, he was very particular that all the points which he has pointed, irrespective of that lunch timing, no? No, I, he's in online, I need to question, I will complete it. He was so particular that in the gray area of what all points he had, he had to get it clarified. <laughs> thank and you, thank so you nice. for sharing. Uh, like without uh, you all cooperation, that could have not been done. You all have cooperated. Uh, you have allow allowed me to think about in that way, allowed me to ask certain things which may or may not be useful to others, but surely it, it's a you know, will derive some knowledge out of it. Uh, thank you, ma'am. And regarding the seating arrangement, the day which I came inside, I saw, uh, are this going to be a, a class uh, or it's going to be a yoga class? It was in my mind. Then I thought a few known faces also inside. Then I decided, let's get inside. Uh, I just came inside. And Swetha ma'am sitting there. And I just sat near to Swetha ma'am and asked, uh, uh, just now, I also came like that, Madam C said. Then I was happy. Okay, okay, I'm not too late. <laughs> okay. Then the break time, I spoke with the sir, and he said uh, a strict thing. No, Alvin, uh, the seats cannot be rearranged. The seat has to be in the same position. This is the rules and regulations of uh, what do you call you? Huh. So I'm. Yeah, it seems the previous program we are not allowed to change the sitting position. So I was very comfortable to sit uh, on the floor um, when if a give chance could have been given, I also could have been one among the corner. <laughs> but anyway, that after discussion with that, the coordinator agreed to pull our seats, uh, pull our bed near towards the wall so that I can, we can have a better back support. Okay. So the thing which I couldn't, which I don't want to sit at the floor is, I'm 100%, I'll, I'm agree, agreeable. And I am 100% I am comfortably, I can sit at the floor. This is my maximum level. And whenever I work, get up, this is how I get up. I am comfortable in that. The only concern is uh, in my house, because after this workshop, I go to my profession, I go to my house, I go to my workstation, my clinic, in my hospital. There's nowhere I'll sit in the floor. There's no space. My hospital is animal hospital. It's blessed with the dirt most of the places. I cannot sit in the floor in my hospital. If, I, if you come to my house, animals are there, pet animals are there. 101% I will not be able to sit. And it's a small house. We don't have a proper space to sit. In hospital here in SRM, we are not sitting because a lot of attenders are there. I don't want to sit in the floor, you know, when others are sitting in the chair. So the chances are very limited. So whatever I'm going to stress myself, by sitting in the floor and not comfortably, because I'm not used to the posture. Sitting floor and writing notes, I have not used. Even I have not used to sit in a chair and write. I have been used to so, sit in a chair and keep a table and write, I'm comfortable. So I, that is the reason I have chosen that uh, option. So no other reason. So thank you so much for the opportunity given.